Is it a bad idea to get a Toyota Estima now? It might be outdated compared to the Voxy or Alpha. It's not bad at all if you're looking for an MPV, a 7-seater with less boxy design. As you can see, since the first generation until the last one, this is the third generation, they remain the same. They remain the same shape, which is a less boxy. I call it, uh, it's, uh, the aerodynamic is better. And it was launched almost 20 years ago, 2006. In 2008, they get a minor changes with the bumper and the first facelift of 2012. And this is the last facelift 2016. No sequential signal. Projector light. Yeah. It's outdated now. Thank God they still have this DRL LED, which is uh, okay. Still looks a bit modern, still look a bit modern, but yeah, it's old. And the back too, yes, it's normal, but so yeah, it looks old. As for folding the back seat, there's no change. A bit not so convenient compared to the other models, but um, yeah, this is a 2006 design. So during that time, compared to others model, it's not bad actually. The reason why they want to fold it this way. It's because they want to maximize the space for the back. Okay. So, this is the space you got. They fold the third row seat inside. Instead of to the side, because if it folds to the side, the seat itself will occupy a lot of space. So to maximize it, they hide it inside here. They hide it inside here. It's a bit inconvenient to fold it, but during that time, I don't think people will mind it because uh, during that time, the Alpha or Voxy, the folding mechanism, which is uh, also that not as convenient as today's. But it gets better space if you fold it down compared to other models during that time. Yeah, during that time, but still not too bad, still not too bad. Even with the third row seat unfold, you still get a very big space underneath here. This was a very good design during that time. Power boot, power selling door, yes, it still have it. So it's just like the current MPV. Just that slightly different because you have to pull the handle to open or close instead of pressing or leg sensor. Yeah, this is older model, so please don't compare to the latest one, yeah? As for the seat, space is lower because of the aerodynamic, but it doesn't kill you a lot of space on the top because of the low floor. Because of the low floor. So, yeah, not too bad. Front leg space, middle row, and the back row. It's not really bad actually. Just that it looks tight because with the full black interior. Now let's move to the dashboard. Yeah, the 
final facelift, they changed the center console to piano black. Not bad. Yeah. 2016 facelift. So this is not very bad touch panel control. The multi function steering wheel, which is uh, also new in 2016. Just a very minor changes for the dashboard on 2016. Yeah. The multi info display is digital. Okay, not too bad. Just that, yeah. This is uh, looks a bit old. And the settings too. Pre crash, lane wash. Yeah, all these are updated during 2016. Yeah, never seen a Estima with a 360 surround camera, which you can upgrade yourself, the party, including the head unit. Everything looks a bit outdated for now, but uh, yeah, you get what you pay. Right. So for storage wise, it's very good. You got plenty of space, even here. Mm. Yeah, this. Even here. You can move this. Yeah, there's a track to move. So how about the driving? It's just another Toyota MPV. It's not built for performance. It's built for comfort and it's good enough to carry people around. All you need is moving from point A to point B. 2.4 liter, 170 horsepower. Yes, it's very good for daily driving. As for the driver, yeah, it looks more like driving an SUV instead of an MPV. Lower seat between the floor and also your eye level is just as good as an SUV. It's not so van like that kind of feeling. If compared to the Alpha or Oxy, When cruising on high speed, this is the best option you can get. Less body roll, you don't feel like driving a van, it's more like an SUV. If you want to drive an MPV without feeling driving an MPV, yes, it sounds funny. Yeah, this is more like driving an SUV actually. And you don't like the boxy design, you prefer more aerodynamic, sleek design. This is the only model you can get.